Hey, this is Colton from WhiplashPC.com. This is the M4A79 XT D Evo motherboard. I'm gonna do the unboxing right here. Uh, this supports up to a six core all the way down to a dual core AMD AM3 processor. I'm pretty sure it doesn't support the AM2 series, but it comes with two SATA cables, a floppy drive cable, or I guess this is an IDE cable here. It's probably got a floppy cable in there though. Uh, it looks like it comes with two of the little cheat sheet connectors, so you don't have to waste your time looking at the manual. Got the manual here. Let's see, there's the seems like there's a CD in here also. Yeah, it has the driver CD. It looks like it also has a sticker that you can put on up in the right-hand corner up there that you can put under case or whatever you like. There's the manual. Basically, all stuff you need to know about it in there. This is the Q shield. This is what you'll put in the back of your case. It looks really nice. It's got the foam and everything on it so it sticks out. So you got a secure connection on there. And now let's get to the main motherboard here. This supports uh, DDR3 all the way up to 1800 overclock. It looks like a very nice board. I'm going to go ahead and get this ready here. Alright, I went ahead and uh, took the cover off and I got the motherboard exposed now. It looks like a very nice motherboard. Uh, everything looks very solid. It's pretty basic, but it looks like it's going to be very nice. It's brown as you can see, but it, it's almost uh, black brown it looks like because when it's in the dark, I got it lit up right now so you can really see the brown color texture of everything. But uh, it's very nice looking. The heat shields are amazing on this thing so far. I'm going to make an, a second video. I'll go through the BIOS on it. And I'll also go through and uh, have the 6-core on here. So when I make that video, I'll post a link along with this video on here. I'll see you then. Alright, this is the BIOS. It's pretty nice. Um, it's similar to most ASUS BIOSes, um, if you're familiar with any BIOS at all. Um, on this AM, uh, AM3 processor, it's a 6-core Phenom, Phenom 2. Uh, I had to update the BIOS for it to recognize that it was a... 6 core processor. Other than that, it said unrecognized AMD 800 megahertz processor. But once I updated the BIOS, everything shows up as you can see is X6. Um, BIOS features are pretty nice. It's got the, uh, what is it? The express gate. That's uh, kind of a cool feature to have. You can go through here. The, you could probably overclock this thing if you wanted to. It has a core unlock built onto it, which kind of does that for you. I believe that gives you like an extra 400 megahertz per core. Um, I'm pretty happy with just stock speeds personally, but I mean, there's go-getters out there. But you can see it's pretty basic. I got the boot device all set up. I've already got Windows on this thing because I was in here earlier playing around with it. I just wanted to give you an update on what it looks like, and I have ExpressGate disabled just because I want a faster boot. But other than that, it has the overclock profile, which is kind of nice. You can see I've already got that up there. What that is, is when you save your uh, CMOS, your BIOS settings, you can save it so that way it, say you lose power and everything goes out you can go right back there and hit load from and then hit profile one and that would be the settings that you saved it at whenever you did and as long as you don't clear your CMOS and even if you do clear your CMOS with the battery trick I'm pretty sure it still stays there so that's kind of one of the bright sides uh, so you just hit save and exit and then you're on your way but uh, this, this motherboard seems to be great so far. I haven't had any conflicts with it, no blue screens. Everything's pretty dang solid once I updated the BIOS. Uh, the only thing I recommend is make sure you have the latest BIOS when you have this, and you should be set. Other than that, uh, it's been running rock solid, and I have no complaints this far. Thanks for watching.